Hello friends, hope you're doing well and in this video tutorial I'm going to tell you about the JFX button. Now you can see on my screen the I have used and applied the properties on the JFX button. So these buttons looking really awesome. So uh, in the I will show you how you can create the similar buttons within simple steps. So let's get started so first uh, uh, step you need uh, you must have this scene builder which I have downloaded from the glue on website if you have not downloaded and you want to make it so just follow the link given in the description box and download and set up the scene builder and then come back to this video and start doing so let me show you the preview and uh, the features which I'm going to cover. Now here on the stage, first you can see here the example of the flat button and the raised button. So I'm going to tell you about these two different buttons which you can use in your application. So what is the big difference between the flat button and raised button? So this flat button looks like it is uh, merge inside the stage, but the raised button looks like coming out from the stage and it has uh, some um, Shadow around it so you can feel the difference of this flat button and raised button and uh, I have applied Some coloring on it. Now uh, you can see that I'm pressing it. It's changing the color and for the this uh, raised button now click you can see that the white color is covering the button and it's fading out and it this property giving the feels like we are pressing the button okay now come to the next one the heading is hand cursor now here now you see that this button is simply a flat button but the feature i'm going to tell you which is once you come on this button and you're going to press it you can see that the cursor is changed into the hand cursor which looks very nice so I will cover uh, this property as well and tell you how you can do it. Now come to the next one which is uh, a raised button but I have applied the effect. So we have the effect property which has many effects. So I have chosen one of them which is drop shadow effect. Now you can see that the black black shadow is uh, showing around this button. And you can reduce it and you can change the color of the shadow and we have a lot more things inside the effect so I will cover one by one so just now come back on the uh, scene builder here so first I'm going to cover first we will talk about the button the flat button so uh, this is my scene builder and JFX J Phoenix is already installed inside it now you have to go here library search and type jfx button and you will see that the components available and just drag it here so i'm talking about the flat button once you uh, drag and drop the button at this place you can see that the button is appeared now now come on the right hand side you can see the inspector and this is the property and the properties window on the right hand side so first I will change the font type once you drop the button at this place you will get the default name which is button but you can change it like go to the right hand side you can see that the properties text and come inside this box and type my button okay now the button text is changed but it is very small now I will increase little bit now just below it you can see that the font properties is there now click on this you will see the slider and just increase the font size it's really easy okay so this is the flat button but uh, okay now see the preview can see that the button 
you can see that the uh, rippling effect rippling fill which is gray but you want uh, you can do it more you can change the rippling fill as well no problem so come back on the right hand side on the properties now you can see here the rippler fill is the properties now just uh, click on it it will show you the color box and you can choose uh, the color range you can choose any of the color you want so i will do exactly uh, white okay now okay it's done but it will not be visible because of uh, my stage is already white so we have to do one more thing like uh, the, this uh, target button we have a blue color in the background so how you will change it okay no problem just scroll down the properties window now come here you can see that the style properties here and once you click on it it will show you the drop down and choose the first one hyphen fx hyphen background hyphen color once you choose it now here in this box you have to give the color name you can give the name of the color or you can give a hexadecimal value at this place so my my button is flat button and this have a background of the blue so I will copy the same color from this button and I will paste the color here now you can see that the background color has been changed but this black font is not looking good so now come back on here in the properties where we have a text fill properties now once you click on it now choose any of color so i'm choosing the white color so it will it will be much visible on the blue color okay so now my flat button is ready so now let's see the preview how does it looks now you can see that we got the same as target button so this was the flat button now I will show you to create this erased button no problem uh, go to the library and just drag one more button onto the stage and similar way go to the properties and which have a text properties now change the name of the button and just below that we have a font size slider so just uh, increase the slider and change the text fill as well because we will change the background color so make it white okay now this is the button now before uh, going to the next properties i need the hexadecimal color code of this button so I will click on it and I will pick up the green color code okay no problem we can give the green uh, so this is the color name we can pass it okay so now choose this uh, button and just scroll down and come to here the style properties choose the FX background color and now type G R W E N now set the background color green but this is not a raised button right now we have to set one more properties just scroll above and you can see here the button type which is default flat once you click on this drop down you will see the type second which is raised once you click on the raised now this button becomes the raised button now you can feel uh, that it has a uh, uh, some shadow around this button now the button is uh, ready now let's we will see the preview now you can see that it is working properly this is my flat button the first blue button is a flat button and the second one we have created the raised button now you can see the difference of the flat button and raised button and we have also changed the background of the color okay now the third one I will show you how to change the cursor on the button 
Okay, now do the same. Get one more button from the library, and uh, we need a hexadecimal color code for that. So I will uh, copy the hexadecimal co color code from the existing one, and I will change the background color from uh, the style properties, and now paste the color code. And the color code is changed, but the text is really small. Now come to the font properties and now increase the button size. Okay. Now, now we need a cursor. So uh, on the properties window, okay, no problem. Come here, just scroll down slowly, and we have to find the cursor properties. So here is the cursor properties. You can see that the first, which is a default selected, is inherited. Once you click on this drop down, you will see the many options here. And uh, we need a hand, so choose this one. Okay, now go to the preview menu and you can see the preview. Now you can see that we got the cursor changed into the hand cursor, and it's looking really nice. So in this way we can change the cursor. We have a lot more option. We have many options to change the cursor. And uh, now come to the next one. So I will show you the how to apply the effect. Uh, uh, so for that do the same. Go to the library and drag one more button on the stage. Can change the background color as well with the style properties but uh, you need a hexadecimal code so I'm going to copy from here and come here again this is style property so I have to choose first one and paste it the color code uh, your button is ready so this is uh, the flat button right now okay now scroll up and you will see the button type is flat now change this button to the raised button then we can apply the effect on it so now uh, just scroll down a little bit and now uh, we have this effect properties here and this is the drop down once you click on it you will get a lot you will lots of effects inside this so you can try it. I'm showing you which is uh, most useful, which is a drop shadow. I want to take a drop shadow. You can see here on the button, there's a shadow is appearing around this button. And one more click, one more time, and uh, you have uh, options and uh, the sliders to change the width of the shadow. Like uh, now, you can see that I'm increasing, so the shadow is increasing. And I'm decreasing the slider from left so the shadow is decreasing and this is the height of the shadow you can increase the height of the shadow as well no problem and this is the radius of the shadow you can increase and decrease the radius of the shadow and you can by using this slider property you can uh, make it dark you can see that the dark shadow is appearing okay if you want a light shadow so you can do some adjustments with this these sliders I can see the button and this is the awesome property awesome effect uh, yeah one more option is here you can change this shadow color as well uh, you can choose the red black and which one looks much better though I think black is a good option okay that's fine okay that's that's fine you can change the height width radius and spread uh, by these sliders and you can set the effects whatever you want okay let me change the text as well 
font size has been increased and now the text will be effect by helping by adding uh, the text inside this text property you can change the text and uh, let me show you one more effect one more properties which is cursor again so you can get the open hand properties by setting this op value open hand to the cursor properties uh, you can get uh, good effects now you can see that we got it and this is hand cursor on the button once you come inside once you come on this button for click you can your cursor will change and it will be the hand cursor and this is my raise button and this is the flat button you have seen uh, the all properties and the effects and uh, the cursors we can use uh, uh, with the buttons and we can do more uh, we can do more with uh, these buttons so with the help of uh, the good color combination you will get the very rich GUI effects inside your Java FX application so the J Phoenix is really awesome and these buttons are really cool I hope you will like this video that's all guys I hope you enjoyed this video so please like and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon for new video updates. Thanks for watching.